So with the help of Hashem, we want to get a little uh, inspiration from the Zohar. Maybe a lot of inspiration from the Zohar. So <coughs> we have in the Tikkunei Zohar, what is the what is the place of what is called Baal Kabbalah? Somebody that is in that way of learning Kabbalah, teaching Kabbalah, being involved with Kabbalah, Kabbalist meditations, and so on. So the Zohar is saying that Kabbalah is de Mina. The concept of Kabbalah is the right hand, right hand side. Alacha besmola. The halacha is the left hand side. What does it mean, the right and the left? So, we know that the Kabbalah in the right is the kindness. The halacha, which is the left, is the judgment. Where do we see that? For example, when someone is, uh, you have a very big um, desire to do something. The halacha says no. No. That's it. Judgment. It's like, cut. Can't do it. According to halacha, can't do it. So it's judgment, right? <coughs> so where do we see that Kabbalah will be the right-hand side? Basically, when someone have a spiritual desire, okay, and we need to understand what is spiritual desire. Okay, there's many people that they have wrong concept about this. But when someone has spiritual desire, which is basically bottom line to make it short, desire to connect to Hashem. Okay, it can be that a person is he doesn't understand that this is really his desire. So he thinks that he, what he wants is all kinds of other things. But the, what is in the, the foundation of any spiritual desire will be always to connect to Hashem. So, the Kabbalah will give this person the possibility to elevate to that place. That will be an application of the concept of the Kabbalah is the right hand side, which is the kindness. So it helps him to go to the place that he wants. Okay, <clears throat> so what what do we learn from this? That the real the real challenge within the learning of the Kabbalah is to get to the fine tuning of what really the person wants. What is really the desire? of the midst of the heart of the person. Most of the people, they don't really know what they want. They think they want this, they think they want that, but really it's not what they want. They see it by other people, so they imagine themselves, ah, it would have been nice to have that, to do this, to be able to do that, all kinds of different imaginations. But it's not real what the person really wants. So within the learning, within the practicing of all of those applications, all of those meditations, and so on, one of the big challenges is to get to a very, very fine tuning, very high resolution of the inner picture of the person. To go to the, to the like very, very core points of the being and to redefine them, to tune them to the right direction. And then the result of that will be that every time that we are doing anything of Kedusha, learning, praying, meditating, doing Chesed with other people, whatever it is, if we already have those structures, those inner structures built within us, so we'll be able to use them as a foundation and from there to take it onwards to the next step. And again, the whole purpose is to come closer and closer to Hashem. <coughs> so, 
I will finish with the blessing that Hashem will have mercy on all of us to get to do this important work. That you have to know that not many people have that uh, privilege to do them. Most of the people, even the people that are that are Jewish, religious, doing all of the mitzvot, whatever they are able to do, and so on and so forth, many, many of them, many of us, we do that many times without without redefining what is our purpose. And then it means that we lost the purpose. If we don't if we didn't redefine what is our purpose, so in a certain in a certain manner, not full way, but certain way, we lost the purpose. So this is something that is very important. And for me this is one of the definitions of what is the Jewish meditation, what is the Kabbalistic meditation, to know how to approach those parts within us and redirect them. So, Bezrat Hashem, Hashem will give all of us that possibilities and the knowledge and the inspiration to go there and do that. Bezrat Hashem. Amen.